Okay, so what are we seeing? So we're seeing Wipeout 2048, so this is an exclusive to PlayStation Vita. Okay. Uh, one of the big things that we've done with the game is uh, it's set 37 years from now. Previous Wipeouts have been set like hundreds of years out in the future. Right. So this is like season one of the sport. This is the very first season in the right. timeline of the official sport of Wipeout itself. Right. And we've done a couple of cool uh, things about that. It's sort of set it in a relevant city, so it's architecture at a ground level, at a street level that you're kind of used to seeing, you know, you're recognize it from cities that you see today right and then as you climb up through what, the what heights, are some of those cities um, so we're kind of basing it roughly on a East Coast sort of, uh, American sort of city so think of what New York might look like in 40 years time that right kind right, of thing, right yeah and we're imagining that the city is built up in layers mm -hmm. so at the ground layer you've got the kind of brownstone tenements that you're used to seeing right and then the higher up you go into the city um, you get to see this brave new world of architecture and this oh, futuristic nice. vision built on top right so I'll play the game and sort of like talk you through it as we can see it. Okay. So uh, we'll kick the game off here. It's going to take a picture of us. There you go. Okay. There I am. And uh, in a network game, we'll share that picture between it, you know, <laughs> right, all yeah. the different races. So cool. you get to see it. So one of the things that you'll notice here is, uh, well, hopefully you'll agree that the graphics look uh, pretty amazing. Yep. Um, and this new concept of setting it 37 years from now has really kind of worked to get a lot more dogfighting and kind of ship to ship racing between the different ships. Mm -hmm. um, so you get a lot more kind of aggressive combat, lots of weapons going off. Right. Um, and we've also done some sort of, uh, and here, here you are at the lower levels of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is kind of like, you know, pretty much architecture that you're familiar with, you know? It's, right. you know, stuff that you kind of recognize at mm -hmm. that base level. And now this race is all about racing up and over the side of a skyscraper. So here, right. we're now going to go right up a mag strip down the side uh, of uh, here. We're going up to the top of the skyscraper, right Right with the top, so now you're going to see this brave new vision, this futuristic vision of the architecture, the city beneath you there, and then you're going to come screaming back down the other side, oh, really? racing into the heart of the city again. So we so can go up the buildings. Up the building, so you can get to see all the different types of architecture, and it's really sort of keyed into the gameplay as well, you know, all the all the kind of jostling for position, the weapons that are firing off. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess as well with Wipeout, we always try and make it a, a graphical powerhouse, really. So, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, we're pushing, hopefully you'll agree, it, it, you know, a lot of people say it looks really as good as any home console version we've ever done, like yeah. uh, Wipeout HD. Yeah. Um, we're pushing about 250,000 polygons per frame. Wow. Um, which is, you know, uh, uh, comparable to our home consoles. Right. Um, so, you know, it really does pack a punch, this, uh, uh, the PlayStation V with itself in terms of its graphical capability. Um, so, other cool stuff that we've done, that we've made, like, tactical changes to the race itself. So, you'll see here that the weapon pads are actually split uh, between yellow and green. Right. Um, so, the, the track's a rider, but you've still got to take a, a racing line or a strategic line as you're racing, because, say you're in the middle of the pack, you're going to want to go for offensive weapons. Mm -hmm. And they're all based on the uh, yellow pads. Right. So you've got to brace to pick those up. Right. And the green ones, uh, say you're far out in front, they're the ones that are going to give you shield and your mines. Right. So there's like offensive and defensive weapon pads. Right. Uh, and that gives a new dynamic to sort of the lines that you pick through the game itself as you race it. Right. Uh, wow, someone's uh, just hit me with a quake there. Right, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's great. When, when's it coming out? So this is going to be a launch title. Uh huh. So um, yeah, we're currently sort of working on this at the moment. So this is kind of like alpha code that we're seeing here. Right. Um, so we've still got quite a bit to go yet. Um, there's going to be ten brand new tracks, all uh -huh. based with this high concept in mind of you know uh, built-in layers. Some of the tracks are going to be set right up at the top of the city. Right. Others are going to experience all parts of it, like this one here called right. Empire Climb. Right. Um, we've also got a brand new uh, uh, ship upgrade system. So you can, as you race through the game, mm -hmm. you're going to be unlocking up to 20 uh, uh, ships with different attributes. Right. So uh, come Combat ships, for instance, will be sort of heavier on the armament, uh, a bit slower on the sort of speed classes, right. um, and you get a lot of different variety in the racing as you go through. Great, fantastic. So, um, yeah, and also we've got the cross-play feature as well, so um, 
in the game when we release, we're going to basically uh, include the HD tracks mm -hmm. uh, from Wi-Fi HD that's already uh, available on PS3. Right. And you're going to be able to race head-to-head -head uh -huh. in the same online games as the PS3 owners as well. So there you're going to get to see our, our kind of final race there. Right. Let's see, you got first place. Got first place. <laughs> Very I've good. had a bit of practice in there. And there's our picture there. Yep. On the podium. Fantastic. <laughs> so in a network game as well, you'll be able to like record your winning gesture as you cross the line, and that'll get sent to all the other people in the network game. Right. So uh, very good. They'll get to see you. Uh, so, so don't flip it, flip people. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Thank Absolutely. you very much. No problem at all. Thanks. Yeah.